Hello there and welcome. My name is Sunshine Amos, the CEO and Project Manager Sunshine Resources. In this video, I will be talking about caustic soda in our video series, Know Your Production Chemicals. You see, ladies and gentlemen, the world of chemicals is similar to the human society. Every chemical is blessed with behavior and we humans make use of them based on their behavior. Hence, it is important we know them not just by their names only, but by their behavior. In that way, we can best handle them, especially for our safety, for those of the chemicals that are very dangerous. Take for example, if there's fire outbreak in your home, the first thing that comes into your mind is water. That's because you know that water can put off fire. Water and fire are two opposite elements. Now, just like I said before, in this video, I'll be talking about caustic soda, also known as lye. Caustic soda is known by the chemical name sodium hydroxide. It is a white crystalline solid looking so much like granulated sugar. In classroom chemistry, caustic soda belongs to a class of compounds called base. It can also be called alkali because it is soluble in water. If caustic soda is left in the air, it absorbs water readily to form a solution. This means that caustic soda in, in the crystalline state must be stored in an airtight container. Caustic soda is a very important chemical in soap making, such as bar soap and toilet soap. As a matter of fact, bar soap or toilet soap cannot be made without caustic soda or any other base. It reacts with fat or oils to form soap a process called saponification. Now caustic soda is corrosive. This means that it has the tendency to burn the human skin if it comes in contact with the skin. In soap making and cosmetic for example, this is one chemical whose quality control must be put under serious check. When calculating the quantities of materials used in soap making, as part of the quality control measures, we ensure that the total quantity of caustic soda used must be totally used up in the reaction. This is because any unreacted caustic soda left behind in the soap or cosmetics can cause serious skin irritation such as itching and burning sensation. The dissolution of caustic soda in water is an exothermic reaction. This means that heat is liberated into the surrounding. When you dissolve caustic soda in water, the water becomes hot immediately and fumes are given off from the solution. Please use nose mark when making salt preparation. Caustic soda can burn your skin upon contact with your skin. It should therefore be handled with care. Ensure never to stand directly over caustic soda when mixing it with water. The fumes that comes out can cause choking sensation. When working with caustic soda, certain materials cannot be used such as aluminum plate or pan as it can cause such materials to corrode. You can get the functions and details of other production chemicals in our ebook, the Sunshine Resources Production Guideline ebook. You can place your order for our ebook by clicking on the link in the description box below this video or simply send a WhatsApp message to the phone number flashing on your screen. So, thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshineresources.org.ng. You can visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash c forward slash sunshine resources that's our TV. You can also follow us on our Facebook page on sunshine resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.